work because my immediate boss felt it was really important to gossip about my mental health. And I got tired of having a toxic work environment. And I don't get where they apologize. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. Why give a bad apology? Like, you're not casting sorry, Basi. Yeah, they have to in Yana like much. But I know where we sang in Yana Twitter, Instagram. I'm amazing, I'm okay, mm -hmm. I'm glowing. Mm -hmm. You see, Buana, you Buana, yes, you see, Buana. Every time someone asks me that, I get so many goosebumps because I have never talked about it. Yeah. But you see, I left media because, uh, one, I got tired. Mm -hmm. Like, I got tired of waking up and doing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we really don't want to lie to ourselves that media is changing. Mm -hmm. It's not. The digital space is changing, but yeah. the media has become mediocre. Let's be honest about it. We are doing the same controversial things. Mm -hmm. If you decide to bring on something like mental health, you're told it's boring. But you see, the problem is not the producers who tell you it's boring. It's the people who want to listen to nonsense. No offense. Yeah. So if you bring science, they, they're like, life is already hard enough. And I got tired of having a toxic work environment. I left work because my immediate boss felt it was really important to gossip about my mental health. So I, I had clinical depression, I have ADHD, and I had PTSD and major panic attacks. She felt it's a joke. So she used to tell people on TV, I'm seeing later, but smoke that attack and kill a screen. And you see, when you work in an environment where people mock your mental health, which is really, really important, yeah? Your sanity is important. I felt like, why am I doing this? I started crying when I'm going on here, you know? Like it was so painful, unengia studio, unengiaka wana wa. Then you're like, I can do this, I can do this. Yeah, and actually make people happy who, yeah, I don't no, owe them that, no, no, you like see? Also... Once you're a public figure, people feel like you owe them, but a lot happened over the weekend, right? About media personalities. We don't owe people anything. We don't owe people what they expect. And I was like, I'm already giving you my cell phone now. Please don't ask for me outside AI. Like, if I'm in life, let me be Mama Andre or something else, but not an Italian. And for the first time in November 2020, I hated the name Anitale. I was like, I really want to be called my real name. Like, let's take all this publicity yeah. away. Yeah. So I went to Mombasa uh, to breathe. The ocean is my calm. And I sat there like for a whole day and I was like, I want to do something different. And one of my closest friends who passed away by the way later, I felt so bad, told me, why are you not breaking this cycle? Every time you have a breakdown, you come to Mombasa. Break down Mombasa. Tell me, why don't you have a different type of breakdown? I came from Mombasa on Tuesday when it's... When is the school in Kapatia director? I didn't even resign to my immediate boss or the boss after the immediate boss. No, Mkubawa or whatever. Hi. He saw me, he was like, oh, I'm glad you're back. I was like, oh, take away the smile. Mm -hmm. I'm it's not so staying. Funny. Yeah, it's so funny this conversation comes up because, mm -hmm. like you said, uh, over the weekend was just too much happening. Mm -hmm. uh, with your personalities. Yeah. And most particularly, I don't know why, it was female. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Talked about uh, talking about places. Yeah. So the things that came out. Yeah. So yeah. So first of all, first of all, let's talk about toxic feminists. That's what we have in media. People, women who think they've made it so they can step on anybody. I had a toxic female boss. Let me tell you something, nothing beats that. And I mean it. Do you know men, I'm not, I am nasitete you Most of the toxic male bosses are sexual. They will harass you sexually. If you say no, they either make your life hard or leave you alone. No, the female ones put a vendetta against you. I will make your life miserable. When a woman tells you that, I swear I run. <laughs> Where? Women have a problem of using empowerment the wrong way in media. And if a person is a bad person, power just makes that bigger. Power just grows that. 
power is a stepping stone to even become a meaner person. And I don't get where they apologize. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. Why give a bad apology? Like, you ni kasi ni sorry basi. That was not apology. There's a difference between an apology and justification. A mean person is a mean person. A bad person is a bad person. Money, chill, media just empowers them. So, it's not female media bosses. It's bad people being given chances, you get. It's bad people getting opportunities. It's bad people sleeping around to get a promotion, sleeping around to be better at work. Then when they get better at work, because they're not competent at work, they use their power to step on people. Believe you me, I'm not saying all those who are mentioned are not competent. Some of them are good, and some of them, that's just how they are. I tell people on Twitter, by the way, I'm not a good person. I'm not. But one thing I've never, I'll never do, I'm not a mean person, and I don't know how to attend. I don't have vendettas at work. That's not who I am. There are people who are smiling, all dressed up and shit, but they're bad people. The thing people need to understand at work, you don't have to love anybody, you never have to like anybody. Just respect them. Like respect goes a long way. And I keep telling people, I'm a boss somewhere. People don't even know where, why people don't know what. I'm a boss somewhere. In my office, there's a rule. I did not ask you people to love each other or like each other. If you disrespect somebody, now that's a big problem. Never, ever. I don't care money in a Fungo studio. Don't ever disrespect someone. Now, in media, what we lack is good protocol and good guidance and good leadership. If I'm sleeping with a boss, what are you telling me? Like, really, what are you telling me? And it comes naturally. Even in society, can I learn a boss? So imagine at work. At the end of the day, and the problem needs double standards. Someone got fired because they said something bad on here. Someone treated someone badly on here. They apologized. It went away. Until we learn to be equal at work, we ask for gender equality. Let's be equal in how we judge and how we treat people. Here's story by the way, I backed off Kabita. But me, someone literally looked at me. I dressed up for you. I was in a t-shirt, yeah, Bob. I can smoke. I can smoke. I can smoke. I I click. Later, they're like, hi, my name is Fenso. I was asked to host you. I wore the exact same way. I showed up and the producer was like, you're the meanest woman I know. I was like, I'm a good soul. Yes, I agree. If you're employed, you sign a contract at the end of it. Tomorrow you leave, tomorrow you're in a different place. I left people at work where I was my last job. They text me like, do you have a place in your station? I'm like, even if I did, where would I hire you? You're a mean person. I would rather hire a kind person and train them than hire a mean person. I believe like until we learn to work together as family, watch each other's back and understand we are not competing amongst ourselves, we are competing with someone outside. Medium will always be toxic.